Sisters and brothers, I feel honored to congratulate my dear sister and an old friend, Loretta Johnson, for receiving this prestigious award, Labor Rights Defenders Award. I know her for many years as the fighter, a champion for civil rights, education rights, and the rights of educators. This is very, very appropriate time to honor such moral and compassionate voice like Loretta. We all know that due to COVID-19 pandemic, injustices and inequalities which were already prevailing in our society have been exacerbated. We also know that millions and millions of people, especially unorganized workers, have lost their jobs and on the verge of losing their jobs in the post-pandemic era. Worst affected are migrant workers, agriculture laborers, people working in unorganized and informal economy and their children would be victimized most. By honoring people like Loretta, we are reaffirming our commitment and conviction and our promise for all those children, women and men. Dear friends, over 1.5 billion school-going students are not able to go to school and one third of them are not having any access to digital education, online education. We also know that out of them, 380 million children and their families largely depended on midday meals or school feed programs or other incentives through schools education. But since they are not there, I'm afraid to say that a large number of them may not come back to school and there would be a massive dropout and that will result in child labor and child trafficking. And that's why we are demanding that there should be fair share for marginalized children and their families to protect them from Corona pandemic now and in the future. Thank you so much.